Hello again, this is Mike with Toy Train Tips and Tricks. And in this video, we are taking a look at uh, a bargain uh, source of power for your model train layout. We are looking at a Marks Model 1859 150 watt uh, power pack, 150 watts. And amazingly, these beasts can uh, can usually be found at shows or on eBay in excellent working condition for under fifty dollars. So <clears throat> to take a look at these things, and it is heavy. It is a beast. Um, this one says Allstate, as you can see. Uh, Marks made um, a, a line of trains that were sold at Sears stores as Sears exclusives. And uh, so many of the items that they made for Sears had the Allstate label on them rather than Marks. The Transformers, uh, even some of the trains were decorated up. Uh, some of the locomotives and cars were decorated up for Allstate, which was the Sears in-house brand. Uh, these were made in the mid-1950s. And... Um, it's hard to specifically date Mark's items because they didn't put out catalogs every single year. And you, they often ran things for multiple years. So uh, mid-1950s is about as close as we can get. Uh, online, I found a Mark's accessory catalog, which, again, they didn't put out catalogs every year. But this one, uh, based on the items that are in it, it seems to be before 1957 in the 1955-56 range. And at that time, this 150 watt transformer um, listed for $15, which at the time uh, was quite significant. So um, anyway, so your features on your 1859, uh, obviously you have your variable voltage controller for your track, stop, medium, high. You have a circuit breaker. This is a pop-up type circuit breaker. When there's a problem, this pops up and it does work. And then the Push it down to reset. See, so look at the back. And we have a variable tap, 0 to 16 volts. So, yes, you can run Lionel trains. Uh, you can run Lionel, American Flyer, Marks, um, you know, whatever uh, on this power pack. And then also a tap for accessory. Now, one thing that it is missing, if you are a Lionel operator and you're looking for something uh, with a horn or whistle control. This does not have it, but you can always add an additional uh, horn whistle bell controller, um, such as a l model, such as this K-Line model. Uh, most of those you can find for under $20, or if you're you know, good with a soldering iron and components, there are schematics online for building your own whistle and bell controller, which you can make for you know five or $6 worth of parts. Uh, if you know what you're doing. So let's take a quick look just to make sure. I know I've tested this one before, but just to show you um, that this puppy works, I'm going to hook it up to our handy voltmeter here. If you can see this, get it in the frame. Yeah, there we go. Let's turn it on. And we are plugged in with a transformer. So let's see what it's putting out. I got it at full voltage here. Let's take a look. One tap, two taps, and we are at 16 and a half volts, right where we should be. Let's look at the fixed voltage. And boom, uh, oddly enough, just, a sl just slightly higher. Might be the way I have these connected. Okay, but basically 16 volts from either side fixed or variable. And let's turn it down and see what half throttle says. This should be around 8 or so. Yeah, there we go, 8.1, pretty good. All right, so it does work. And just to show you that the circuit breaker works as well, let's grab our handy dandy screwdriver. Let's short across the terminals. Oh, I thought I shorted across the terminals. Let's try this again. Let's try a different screwdriver. Do, do, do. Give me a big one so I don't hurt myself. There it went. And there is our circuit breaker popping up. Let me see. 
I didn't check the fix. Yep, there it goes. And there's our circuit breaker. So the circuit breaker does work. Uh, and uh, it was a neat new feature uh, on Mark's Transformers in the 1950s. So there's your sales feature talking about your built-in circuit breaker. So if you're looking for inexpensive wattage, uh, a lot of power, you've got 150 watts going to one track and one accessory output. Um, you know, compare that to your Lionel ZW that may have 275 watts total, um, but each tap going to the track, no more than about 100 watts. So um, if you really need that much power going to one track, um, and, you know, if you want to have power in reserve, not always a good idea, um, 150 watts, and again, these are generally available um, in good shape, whether it says Allstate or whether it says Marks. You can find these for $50 or less in good condition. If you're looking for one, of course, you know, make sure it's got um, you know, a good cord. If you've uh, got one at a show, you know, see if you can test and see if the circuit breaker works, or you can add a replacement circuit breaker for just a few dollars. But it's a bargain piece of equipment. Uh, for running post-war and MPC, basically pre-digital era model trains. So there we go. There's our, our tip and trick for today, the 1859 Mark's 150-watt transformer. So again, I hope you like it. Uh, subscribe, share, tell your friends, tell your neighbors. Come back for our next video. Until then, this is Toy Train Mike signing off for Toy Train Tips and Tricks, and happy railroading.